This strange looking ergonomic keyboard is the Expose Lite, and it claims it can reduce discomfort by shifting your hands to a more natural typing position, and by rearranging some of the keys to reduce finger travel distance, also helping with productivity. I can't speak much on the effect it will have on your wrists because I never really had issues with my keyboard hand, in the past my wrist issues have all been with my mouse hand but it definitely looks and feels more ergonomic than regular keyboards. Something I can speak on, however, is the productivity side. I've had this keyboard for a little over a month, so here's my review. This keyboard was designed with programmers in mind, and as someone that's semi-recently gotten into programming, I was really excited to try this keyboard. Not only are the extra keys in the middle great for reducing finger travel distance, but they also make great hotkeys because you can download their software and rebind them to whatever you want. You can even use them as macro keys if you really wanted to. Because all the keys are also in their normal locations, you don't need to worry about not having them bound to these specific keys. Which really opens up the door for possibilities. The only real limitation here is your own creativity. And you can make as many settings profiles as you want to save these configurations. Meaning you can easily switch between these profiles for different tasks. For example, you could have one for programming, one for video editing, one for Photoshop, one for gaming, and one for everyday use. You can also export these settings and save it to a file to easily use on a different computer. But the question I'm sure most of you are asking yourselves right now is how long did it take to get used to the layout? I won't lie, it did take a little adjustment period. However, it's not as bad as you may think. The layout changes aren't actually as dramatic as they look. Pretty much every key is right where it normally is, and the only thing that's really changed is the rows are slightly slanted, and now there's a gap in the middle of the keyboard which also has some extra keys. It is a bit off-putting in the beginning because the layout does force you to use a certain hand to press specific keys, and when you have long fingers like I do and you're used to ignoring traditional typing conventions, it can take a little time to relearn some of these proper typing habits. But the overall adjustment time wasn't too long. After a few hours I stopped thinking about which hand to use and it became mostly natural again. I think anyone who really wants to learn this layout could do so fairly easily, it would just take a little bit of time. But let's talk a little bit about build quality. First things first, this keyboard uses a braided detachable USB-C cable, so that alone is going to make many people happy. Moving along, this keyboard has aluminum reinforcement that wraps around the entire edge of the case, which was quite a nice surprise. I initially thought the whole thing was plastic like the base of it is, so when it was cold to the touch, I was very pleased to find out that the top and sides are metal. This thing definitely feels solid, there's no flexing at all. And of course, as you would expect, it also has a nice stand that can be flipped up if you prefer to type at an angle for whatever reason. The switches come in a few different variants, but the ones I have on this unit are gathered on black switches which are nice linear switches that aren't silent, but don't make too much noise. Here's a quick sound test. Now I did touch on this earlier, but here's a quick look at the software. Along with changing keybinds and making macros, you can also adjust the lighting effects, which admittedly don't look as cool as they would on the RGB version, which I sadly don't have to show as the one I have is white backlight only. But there's still plenty of cool options here. So I've been enjoying this keyboard quite a lot, especially for video editing, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you ever try a keyboard like this? And a huge shout out to Expos for sending this keyboard to review. I'll have a link to their website in the description in case you want to check them out for yourself. If you want to see a review of my favorite gaming mouse, then check out this video here. Thanks for watching.